Hi, Falcons. It's Miss Sapika. Um, oh, my goodness. It's finally Friday. Oh, you see the bird flying around above my head there? Ah. Oh, no, it's behind the tree. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Um, it's Friday, April 24th. We've made it through our first week of the fourth quarter. Hopefully, are we, we are getting a hang even more of this virtual learning thing um, since we're going to be doing it the rest of the year. Mm, yikes. Um, so we've been talking about a growth mindset all week, and I hope that you guys were able to take those lessons and apply it to your online learning. So just keep trying. It's okay if you're messing things up. Just keep trying. Today, though, we have just kind of a fun story. Um, has a has a little a little bit related to what we're going through right now and why we're all sitting at home. You'll see, um, but mostly it's just a little fun since it's Friday, right? So this book is called "Never Let a Unicorn Get Spots." Maybe you guys have read it before. All right, let's do it. Never let a unicorn get spots. on the inscription says the dedication to my daughter Anna who wants to be a veterinarian to take care of sick animals especially unicorns <laughs> I'm not sure how it happened but today I woke up and my pet unicorn was covered in spots I had to do a close examination of these spots to see what I was dealing with so I got out my doctor bag and found my magnifying glass to get a closer look it was just as I suspected. She got a case of the silly spots. She must have gotten them when we were telling jokes yesterday. Those knock-knock jokes were pretty hilarious. At first, these spots seemed pretty harmless, but then my unicorn sneezed and spots blasted out of her nose. They were getting everywhere. Why didn't she cover her nose? I heard that you never want your unicorn to get spots, but once she has them, how do you get rid of them? I needed to come up with a remedy and quick. So I thought if I covered them with some bandages, like you cover a scrape, maybe that would make the spots go away. I went into my doctor bag and got some bandages. I put one on every spot. I waited for a bit. When I took them off, the spots were still there. Maybe I could wash them off? If it works for germs, maybe it would work for spots? But the spots were still there. This was all making me very tired, and it looked like my unicorn was getting tired too. So I covered her with a nice cozy blanket and climbed into bed. Maybe, just maybe, getting some sleep would help. When I woke up, my unicorn was missing. Where did she go? I searched everywhere in my room, but my unicorn was nowhere to be found. I ran to check the rest of the house. As soon as I reached the hallway, I saw the most amazing spot art ever. As it turned out, while I was sleeping, my unicorn was busy making spots. It was the only thing I didn't think of. She had to make spots to get rid of them. I can see why people say never let a unicorn get spots. They're really hard to get rid of. But without these spots, we would have never known the healing power of art. The end. All right. So do you guys see how that story is a little bit related to why we're all staying at home right now, right? Talking about spreading germs. Um, so just because it's Friday, kind of easy questions. Um, to talk about at home. What are some ways that we can prevent spreading germs? Just like the unicorn spots, just like coronavirus, um, just like a cold. 
So what are some ways we can prevent spreading germs? I know I'm sure we've been talking about this all the time at home since that's really important right now more than ever, but never hurts to reinforce. So talk about that. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I miss everyone so much. Email me, say hi, and I will see you next week.